Coco Chanel turned style upside down in 1926 with her first little black dress, the ultimate anti-fashion statement. It was the perfect garb for the free-thinking young woman of the flapper era. When the Great Depression rocked the world and turned fashion into an unnecessary indulgence, Coco's dress not only survived, it thrived as an affordable yet stylish option for the down and out women of the 30s. Then this happens. And the LBD goes to work. When America entered World War II, the men were shipped out and the women entered the workforce. The women who were working in the offices, the LBD was their dress of choice. It was cheap, it was simple to manufacture, and during the time of war rations, it was really the most practical dress to make. And that's exactly why this became the uniform of this new breed of working women. Strong, independent, and sexy, the working gals of the 40s are beginning to fashion new roles for themselves in American society. But then in 1945, America drops two atomic bombs on Japan, and the war is over. The men return home, and the women return to the kitchens, but they'll be damned if they're gonna take off their LBDs. The men came back to reclaim their office jobs, and the women got sent back to be homemakers, but didn't want to take off their little black dresses. They hung on to them, wore them underneath their aprons, or they were cocktail attire. There were the housewives who would wear the little black dress in a more conservative style with their pearl necklace. The little black dress was being now seen as part of every woman's staple wardrobe in, in their suburban home. Love Lust, the new series about the faves we crave. All new Tuesdays at 10 on Sundance Channel. Part of Full Frontal Fashion. Get your hot stuff now at fullfrontalfashion.com.